Hey Virgo, I'm going to go ahead and do your February um, 2021 reading. See what's going to be going on for you guys um, or someone that is that you're dealing with. Um, this is going to be general, so only take the message that makes sense to you. If it doesn't, then um, it's probably somebody else's story. <laughs> um, I do personal readings if you want to book it on the website calicapenergy88.com I know I always forget to put in the description box but you're more than welcome to book one if you'd like I'm going to try and change it so that way um, um, people can book it without it being like for two days later I don't know how to explain that um, usually I try to get everybody the same day if not um, it'll be done within like three to five days so I kind of want to make that clear but anyway, let's get into it. What is going on for Virgo for February 2021? We have the pop-up. We have new chapter. What's going on with Virgo for February 2021? Hey, everybody's getting this and the setup. So, something's going to come up in your life that you're going to have to address. I feel like something is going to, um, yeah, I was about to say, breaking point. Um, fuck these damn number synchronicities. So, there's messages or things that are coming your way in regards to some type of situation in February. You want a new start. You want a new chapter. But I feel like somebody's going to try and keep you in the same space that you were at. That's why we have the setup here. Someone is trying to get you to stay with them or just trying to get something to happen to you. Let's see. What is going on with Virgo? For February 2021. What's going on with Virgo for February 2021? Ooh. Going on with Virgo for February 2021. Yep, look at that. Negative thoughts about you and sneaky. So there's going to be someone in your energy, Virgo, who is going to be thinking negatively. So, like I said, someone is going to try and do some harm or do something to mess you up. That's for that message. What does Virgo need to know for February 2021? We have addicted. So someone could be addicted to you. Like you're like a drug to them. So we have the setup and the cover up. So someone is going to be basically hiding something from you. Um, some of you, someone could be hiding an addiction that they have. Maybe this is something that you talk to them about. Or you're just finding out. But this person is hiding some addiction. This is for some of you. Um, I don't know. I'm seeing marijuana. I don't know. Um, so someone could be trying to act like they're not smoking marijuana. Late night scrolling. So you could be looking and seeing things online. Someone could also uh, open the window to smoke so that way it doesn't stay in the house, which is dumb because it's still going to come in there. Um, we have ghosting. So some of you could have ghosted somebody too. In February, um, we have chit chats and hidden tweets. So social media it doesn't have to be Twitter. Um, but yeah, you could have ghosted somebody, Virgo, and they're looking to find you online. It's like this person, yeah, this person's addicted to you. They're obsessed and they're covering it up so you wouldn't even know that this person's doing that. But I feel like this person is watching you because you ghosted them. <sighs> yeah, take off. You guys left this situation and this person is watching you to see what you're doing. They're trying to find out a way to come back in. But we have juggling. So that reminds me of the trickster. We have drained. We have chosen. So this could be somebody that you were married to at one point or in a commitment with. Um, and it just 
this is draining you because it's kind of like you already know this is going on. And the pop-up is like this person could uh, message you on some other app or something social media related and say something to you. And it's like a trickster. Like they could be hiding behind somebody else's profile. And we have surprise. So that's like something unexpected. That's been coming out a lot. I think I need to do a general message. Because I've been hearing that for quite some time. What does Virgo need to know about this situation? With this individual watching them and this surprise. What does Virgo need to know about this situation? Yeah, it's definitely somebody you walked away from. Because you guys had... Um, a lot of arguments or competition with one another. What does Virgo need to know about this? Ooh, dang. <laughs> we have the Queen of Swords. So you guys put your foot down with this individual. You spoke your mind about something. Like you were willing to hear them out, but you also cut them off. Yeah, the hanged one. And this person is just like hanging around because they're not taking action. A lot of stuff they're doing is secretive. So that's why we have the cover up. We have the setup. It's like they're watching you to see where they can come in. Seven of Pentacles. So this could have been someone that you were attached to um, for a short period of time. Because I did say married to or um, in a commitment with. But it could have been like a short term thing. So probably never. It didn't last too long. We have strength here. And Will of Fortune. So yeah, you guys um, moved on from this situation <clears throat> with this person. And it's like good things have happened for you since that time. We have the King of Swords. So that's how individuals watching and waiting. Um, King of Swords is like a logical type of individual. They watch and wait for the right time. We have Ten of Pentacles, so a lot of you um, Virgos are um, stable right now, and we also have the Star, so you get a lot of attention, and you are able to heal yourself alone. We have Two of Pentacles, so this individual could have been somebody that was juggling you and someone else, because we do have juggling up here. We have the Nine of Pentacles, so a lot of you have um, are pretty successful. You know, you've put in the work to get where you're at. And it's like you're enjoying your life. Judgment. Yeah. You guys uh, were able to see what you needed to do. I think the Hermit card is Virgo. I want to say. Um, but yeah, you guys were able to reflect on certain things and realize that certain things are not what you want in your life. Certain people you don't want in your life. Um, and you take time out like you guys literally will take time out. You might actually start watching people too. Um, but I feel like this could also be the other individual that's in this hermit energy, just watching and waiting for the right time to act. I'm feeling like the, uh, it's an ego thing. Yeah, because it was ended. This is somebody that you ended things with <laughs> and they just couldn't take it. It's an ego thing. Yep, magician in reverse, that's manipulation to me. And that's not in a positive way. It's either manipulation or someone can't get things off the ground. But I'm thinking more of a manipulation here because I said that was the setup. Four of swords. This person is like anxious. They could be having stomach problems. They probably can't sleep. They're very uncomfortable. And look, that's why they're laying up in bed at night because they can't, they can't sleep. They lost their they lost their wish fulfillment with this Ten of Cups, their family. So if you had a family with this person, this person realizes now that they lost it. But it was because of something that they did. But you were their wish fulfillment. Um, and they lost that. Eight of Pentacles. Why the Eight of Pentacles here? So Virgo. Five of Cups. So you worked on yourself. This actually stopped right by the star card. So you worked on yourself after you let this person go. And this person is in regret and depression because they don't have you in their life. They ruined their chances with you. You could have given this person three chances. It could have been multiple chances. But I feel like this person failed every single time. And now they're stuck and they're going to keep trying. There's two, two cups left. They feel like they still have a chance. 
and Ten of Swords. So this person is like in pain. They're sitting here watching you. They watch you all over. I feel like, you know, if you have any like public things, this person is constantly watching. And it hurts them because they see you happy. Look, Ace of Wands. They're passionate about trying to get you back. They also want to be passionate with you. And they're making plans. <laughs> but you close this cycle. Look, okay. So this person's making plans to try and come back into your life. You close this cycle with them. So you're no longer interested in being with them because they were toxic. We have the devil card here. This person was very toxic when they were in your life. They have a lot of issues with this ace. I'm sorry, ten of wands. They have a lot of issues, a lot of situations that you just did not want to deal with. A lot of burdens. This ace of swords. You spoke your truth to this person about how you did not want to be with them anymore. And they cannot sleep. They're very immature. So the way that they're going about trying to come back is mature. Look, we have the page of wands and we have the page of cups. So this person is very immature in how they're trying to get your attention. Um, they just can't take the hint because they do not want you to have a new chapter in your life. They didn't. They don't want you to move on without them. Let's get you guys a spirit message and then that'll be it for your reading. It's hot. What does... Oops. What does Virgo need to know? That's funny. Someone can't take the hint that they're done with. They may also see that you're happy as well. You may have even told this person that. What spirit message do you have for Virgo? What spirit message do you have for Virgo? Ooh, that one kind of flew. Let me just leave it down really take. What spirit message do you have for Virgo? We have intuitive nudges. This says, intuition is the language of the soul. We are all born aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher selves, the universe, and to our divine spirit. So you already know what this person is doing. Even if they're hiding behind a fake profile and they're watching you, because look, there's an eye. <laughs> this person can have blue eyes <clears throat> or light colored eyes. But this person is definitely watching you and you're aware of this it's like you get a um if you get a message from somebody and you think it's this person it it's this person because that's your intuition that is speaking so that is you guys is reading for february so if this makes sense to you guys please let me know always make sure you protect yourself always make sure you trust your intuition um and do what feels right for you thank you guys for watching oops